Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. Hey guys, a huge shout out to all my subscribers and all my friends. Thank you very much for all the support so far. We are almost nearing 1000 subscribers. Keep it going, keep watching the videos and keep sharing your comments in the comment section. Now this is the second video about the Redmi 4A that I had promised. In this video, we're gonna have two Redmi 4As side by side, running Android 2, running CPU-Z and running Geekbench and we're going to have a look at the numbers, Android 6.0 versus Android 7.0 and we're going to check if a custom ROM or a upgraded Android version really makes any difference to the benchmark numbers. Hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials, let's begin. Alright guys, so as you can see the phone on the left is running MIUI 8.5, the official stable ROM and the one on the right is running the custom ROM that is CR Droid. Now MIUI is based on Android 6.0.1 for this phone and CR Droid is based on Android 7.1.2. What we're going to do in this video, again, as I said earlier, is we're going to benchmark both the ROMs and see which one is better. Now. We're going to follow the standard procedure which we always do. We will first run CPU-Z to check the temperatures, how much the temperature is at idle. So MIUI is at 35 and CR Droid is at 36 degrees Celsius. So we will consider that as the temperature, the first sensor reading. Now let's go ahead and clear all the apps from the memory. And let's run Antutu. So I've skipped the entire testing process because it's a it's a very lengthy and boring process. So we'll skip to the results directly. Now, as you can see, already CR Droid has taken a lead, which is a positive sign because it's a lighter ROM. And there you go, 38361 versus 35851. So that's around 3,000 more, or you know, more like 2,500 more the 3d ux cpu and ram you can see the comparison for yourself there 3d is 2524 and 2505 and ux is 15 225 and 16 810 so it scores a lot on ux or cpu again 12 916 and 13 869 so significant difference there you know if it would have been 500 thousand points i wouldn't have really considered it as a huge huge difference but this is like more like 10 to 12 percent and let's go back to cpu z and uh, let's see what the thermals have to say so both the devices are doing just fine again it is 37 for miui and 38 for the custom rom so they are not overheating at all so that's a good sign for cr droid because it looks to be stable because it's not overheating now let's run geekbench on both the phones and once again we will directly skip to results so that we can save a lot of time all right a quick transition okay now cr right 694 single core and 1929 multi-core and we are waiting waiting still waiting all right so as expected miui is a heavy skin and the custom rom finished much much faster so the performance is much more fluent on cr droid now let's see the results on MIUI here, 668 and 1702. So not a huge difference when it comes to single core scores, but say around 227 points, which is about, again, 10% difference. So 10% is a considerable amount of difference when it comes to the multi-core score. And uh, uh, here's hoping that, you know, the phone performs better. And it actually feels good. I'm using it since a day and it, it the battery life is better it doesn't overheat as much so there was the speed test for you guys miui versus cr droid if you like this video like share and subscribe stay tuned